Let's look at the high and low ankle with the toe pointed at 1.5 T in the coronal projection. We start out more in the back. There's the posterior tib fib ligament. Some of the syndesmosis above it, which is variably perforated for vessels and nerves. Now let's work our way forward to the anterior tib fib ligament. That is more ill-defined because the foot is in plantar flexion. So it shows up as some wispy gray structures between the tibia and the fibula. Let's do something a little bit more easy. Let's go back to the back of the ankle and show you the two major bundles of the posterior talofibular ligament inserting on the fibula with a fairly broad footprint. That structure almost never tears. It's very powerful and really only ruptures in ankle dislocations. We're not going to show you the crural ligaments, which are not well seen with the foot and plantar flexion. But we are going to show you this ligament, the calcaneofibular ligament, which is optimally seen with the foot and plantar flexion. So let's move forward a little bit. Let's move to the front. Not all the way to the front. Look where we are on the fibula. This ligament that we're going to show you goes from proximal supralateral to posterior inframedial. So in other words, it's going to go from the fibula and go backwards. Let's go backwards, sorry. Backwards. There it is. Now it's triangular. Let's keep going backwards. Now it almost looks like a tendon. It's lining up with the perineus brevis, but it is not the perineus brevis. It is the spreading out of the insertion of the calcaneofibular ligament. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is, inserting on the back of the calcaneus. That is the lateral collateral ligament anatomy in the coronal projection with the toe pointed.